was going to say something else. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Hey everyone, it's Hailey. Welcome to my channel. So, today's video is not what I had planned, but that's okay. I had originally planned a different video for you guys this week, but due to unforeseen circumstances, that video is not going to be happening, so I kind of had to come up with something to show you guys. You guys really, really seem to enjoy my hair tutorial videos, so we're going to do another one of those today. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to curl your own hair with a flat iron. This is something that I get asked about a lot when I'm doing updos, when I'm doing prom hair, wedding hair, or just curling hair in general. It is something that I get asked about a lot. Oh, how do you do that? Well... I'm going to show you. <laughs> Alright, so the few things that you're going to need, I just use a brush. This is my brush. It's got some hair in it. Don't judge. And a flat iron. Um, it's also dirty. Don't judge. This is my personal hair brush and flat iron. So they are a little bit dirty, but I'm the only one that uses them, so it's okay. So, I have a mirror right here to the left of me so that I can see what I'm doing, but also show you guys at the same time. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So I usually start on my left side and I'll just brush all the hair back. This is going to be a very informal way to curl your hair. I'm not necessarily going to do step by step by step by step. I'm just going to show you what I do because it's people I think feel like it's a lot more complicated than it is and it's just not. So it's very simple. It's very easy. It'd be very easy for you to pick up. So here we go. So I usually just start on the left side because this is the side where my bangs are. So I just go around counterclockwise. I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> but I start on the left side and I'll just take a piece of hair right here. You don't want to grab a section that's too thick. You want something that's going to be about mm, square inch. We're going to say that about a square inch because we want a good curl. I like a little bit more curl than wave. That's just my personal preference. If you're wanting more of a wave than a curl, you would take a bigger section. If you want more of a curly curl, you'll take a smaller section. What I'll do is I'll just take this little piece, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our flat iron, we're going to grab it, twist it, okay? And you're going to twist it so that it's going away from your face. You always want to make sure that your curls, when, at least when you're using this technique, there are other techniques that will do different things. But for this technique, you're going to take it, you're going to grab the hair, and you're going to twist it and pull. And we're going to twist to the left because this is the left side of my face, and I want it to go away from my face. Does that make sense? So we're going to grab this piece of hair, twist, and pull. Okay? So we're going to grab, twist, and pull. You always want to make sure that you keep the flat iron moving. Number one, because we don't want like little kinks, little crinks. You know what I'm talking about, the little lines that you can see in your hair. We don't want those. Those aren't fun. And also, if you keep it in one position too long, you are at a higher risk of frying your hair off. <laughs> we don't want to do that. We never, ever, 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 ever want to do that. Right, so we're going to take this next piece right here. On the top of my hair, I usually do it a little bit differently. I'm going to show you. When I grab it, I'm going to turn it under and go. Okay? But see, on the bottom hair, I'll just grab it and go. Okay? I don't really know if I'm explaining this super well. I'm a lot more of a visual learner, so I teach better visually. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to grab this piece of hair, and then I turn it under and pull down. See what I'm saying? So it's kind of going towards my face. You'll, It'll make sense. It'll make sense later because when I do the other side, it, you'll see it a lot better. We're going to take the next piece of hair. And the way that I do it is I take vertical sections. I don't necessarily, that's why I take my flat iron and I go up and down with it. So I'll take a vertical section, grab it, twist it, and pull it. Can everybody see that? It's turning out okay. 
Yeah. And you see how I grab it from the underside when it was at the top part of my hair? Oh, I missed a piece. That'd be a good opportunity to show you. So when I'm taking this top piece of my hair, I don't grab it like this and turn it. Or I'll grab it like this. I'll grab it more at an angle versus up and down. And I'll turn it that way. So we twist and we pull. And we've got a little, little curl. So now we're just going to keep doing this all around our head. sometimes when you're curling your hair you're not really sure if you should leave them straight if you should try to curl them what you should try to do so I let this part out intentionally so I can show you what I do you know my bangs are a little bit short right now go watch my how to cut your own bangs video it'll be linked right up here I'm just gonna show you guys what I do to my bangs so here we go I'm gonna take my flat iron I'm gonna take a section and this is the part where I was telling you guys where I don't just grab it and go back with it I do like to grab it from up here and turn it downwards so that it is, the curl is going away from my face. I do want it to sit on my face just a little bit. Does that make sense? So you are going to grab it, turn it, and bring it down. So you see the curl is going away from my face, but I do have this little part up here where it's sitting forward. Does that make sense? Let me show you again. We're going to grab it. We're going to turn it and we're going to pull it on down. So you see, once again, the curl is going away from my face, but this piece is coming forward so that it'll sit on my face, okay? I'm going to do it one more time. We're going to grab, turn, and just pull it on down, okay? All right, so when we get to the bangs, I don't curl, I don't curl, curl my bangs. I just try and put like a little bit of a wave to them. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. We're going to take a vertical section. I always take vertical sections with my hair. My hair is very stubborn when it comes to curling. This is the only way my hair will stay curled is with a flat iron. If I try to use a curling iron, the barrels are too big. The bottom always falls out. It's never fun. It never does well. Flat ironing my hair is just what works for me. And that's what I prefer to use when I do other people's hair. Unless it's like some like crazy updo with a lot of volume, then I'll use like big barrel rollers or a big barrel curling iron or something like that. But if I'm just trying to curl it really quick so that I can throw it in an updo, most of the time I'll use a flat iron. Yeah, back to business. So we're going to take a vertical section. We're going to grab it turn it and come on down with it okay so this part i'm not going to do it quite the same way we're going to take a vertical section and this is going to be kind of like how in my how to cut your own bangs video i'm going to do my bangs that way where i take a vertical section i grab it and i just go back with it so you see how it has a little bit of a wave to it but it's not curly because we don't want super curly short bangs because that's no fun but like also just bored straight bangs with curly hair it just it doesn't really go together i don't i don't i don't get it when i see people doing that how their whole head will be curly and then their bangs are just bored straight don't do that please if you're one of those people and i'm not trying to be mean i'm just saying this will look better if you can just put a little bit of a wave to your bangs. I know it's not what you're used to. I know it's different. Different equals scary. Different doesn't have to equal scary. I'm just saying, this is just my two cents. Do what you want to do, but this is my two cents. So then we're going to take our last vertical section. We're going to grab it, and we're going to go back with it. Okay, so does everybody see how it has a little bit of curl to it? Now that our head is curled, we have lots of little curly cues right here to go with so I will just run my fingers all through it because I want to break up 
some of these curls. I don't want all my curls to be piecey. I want them to kind of flow together. All right, and now we have some really pretty loose waves. They're not super tight curls, but you see what I'm talking about with my bangs. How when you put just a little bit of a wave to them, they'll sit on your forehead, but it flows really nicely with the curls. And then you can see on this side how the curls are going away from my face, but they are sitting pretty close to my face. I don't like it when your curls just go straight back. And so then you're sitting there with your head like this, you know what I'm saying? Because all your curls are just going back. I personally like for my hair to sit a little bit on my face. We've had this conversation before. I feel like I have a weird forehead, so I need to cover it just a little bit. <laughs> Normally, when I do a look like this, I'll do a little bit of prep work before I just curl it. I'll put a volumizer, a heat protectant, usually some kind of a moisturizer so it doesn't get too dry on the ends. I didn't do any of that today because, like I said, this was kind of a last minute idea to do this video, but I will link everything in the description that I use when I'm doing my prep work. I usually like to put some volumizer up here. I'll put a heat protectant all throughout. I'll usually put like a, like a moisturizer or like, like a split end mender. Side note, split end menders are not going to fix your split ends. The only way to fix a split end is to cut it off. If you don't cut it off, it's going to continue to split up the hair shaft so that your hair will essentially break off. But that's not important. The whole thing with the split end mender is it holds it together. So it's kind of a band-aid until you can get a haircut, if that makes sense. So I'll usually put a little bit of a split end mender on it when I'm curling it. Just as extra heat protection. But anyway, I'm going to link everything that I normally use to do on my prep work in the description. So the reason I did this video today, I thought it would be fun because the holidays are coming up and a lot of people are going to be going to Thanksgiving parties, Christmas parties, Friendsgiving parties, I mean all kinds of things. So I just thought this would be cool that I could show you guys a fun new little way to do your hair. But in the spirit of the holidays, I do want to take a second before we end this video and say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos, liking my videos, I even had a couple of comments on a couple of them. Super exciting stuff. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you. I really, 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 truly appreciate you guys taking the time out of your own day to watch me talk about whatever I'm talking about <laughs> week to week. So thank you. If you like this video, just hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe so you can be on the lookout for more videos like this one. And I hope y'all have a good day.